Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. On the cusp of the Tour de France, I thought I would give you the tour of the grounds uh, where I'm staying before the tour. Got some new road IDs that you guys can look forward to seeing during the coverage of the Tour de France if you're looking at my wrist, <laughs> which is gonna be early, <laughs> early in the morning. Here's my very posh chambers. Pretty basic, but let's take a gander at the grounds. Ground floor, no AC, as you can see. Hopefully the light is okay. <laughs> Pretty nice. I'm not sure how I wound up here, but I'm very, very pleased that I am. Uh, let's do some predictions. Why don't we start with that? couple of sprint stages to start this year's Tour de France before the first GC day, which will be stage three, a team time trial. I'm going to start stage one predictions now. Fernando Gaviria. Best lead out in this race with the quick step team. I think he's going to be flying in the sprints. I'm picking him to win the most sprints out of all the sprinters, starting with day one. And it seems like in the last few editions of the Tour de France, the rider that wins the first stage goes on to be the most dominant sprinter. We saw that with uh, Kittle last year, won the first sprint stage, went on to win five, Cab the year before that, four wins, even though he didn't contest the whole tour. Um, after winning to Utah Beach a couple years ago, and the year before that it was Andre Greipel. I think it's going to be a new group of sprinters dominating this year. Dylan Gronewegen will be up there. Uh, Arno DeMar, I think, will have some good success. Sadly, no Caleb Ewan. And that leads me to believe Fernando Gaviria is the man for stage number one. Until, t until Saturday. See you guys. Pretty sweet. <laughs> I hope everybody tunes into the tour and has a great month of July watching the best race on earth.